Hello everyone, welcome back to what is going to be the final video for Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now that we've gotten all kinds of masks now, we're going to see what he says about these. Why that's, that's the postman's hat, isn't it? That's a fine thing. It is filled with the joy of freedom. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get back my mask. That mask? That's the All Knights mask, isn't it? That looks like an expensive mask. Unfortunately, that's not the mask I'm looking for. Keep up that pace. That mask? That's the Gibdo mask, isn't it? That is a fine mask. It is filled with the love of a father and child. You have done some good work. Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. Uh, and couple's mask, I think, is the last one. We can't do the giant's mask for obvious reasons, but here we go. That mask? That's the couple's mask, isn't it? That is a truly very fine mask. It is overflowing with powerful feelings of love and gratitude. You've done some good work. You went through a great deal of trouble, didn't you? Keep up that pace. I'm counting on you to get my mask. And that is so very true that we went through a lot for that. Um, but that being said, we're good. I think we're good. And one thing I will say that we do need to go get is a lot of everything. And what we're going to be aiming for is to stock up on as much as we possibly can. Because once we start the finale part of this, we're not going to be able to come back. So we're going to withdraw some money. Oh, no. I, I don't think I'll really need much, honestly. But I do want to do a couple of things. So I'm going to withdraw 500. And one of the things we're going to do is come in here. Um, I think I can get enough arrows and whatnot from doing other stuff, but one thing I do want to make sure, actually, you know what, I think I'm okay. I might, I might have been a little bit overzealous on the money. I don't think I needed to get that much, but we'll see. We're going to be waiting for 10 a.m., so... That's when the mayor's office opens, and we need that to be open to get one of the final pieces of hearts that we're missing. Yeah, we're not really getting a whole lot of extra stuff. Oh, there we go. There's some arrows. That's a lot of just magic bottles, which I'm okay with to some extent, but I mean, come on, I need some other stuff too. Uh, I got some bombs, bombs, magic. I got 30 arrows, I think I'll be okay. Uh, bomb wise, we're good. And we'll just roll on in. We're gonna need to. I'm gonna buy some bomb chew. I know that you get some where we're going, but I just wanna buy some to buy some at this point. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. Alright. Come again. 
All right. We've got 20 and 30, which is good. I don't think we need to really buy much else. The only thing I really know that I'm going to buy in the process is going to be a uh, Chateau Romani. That will be the only thing I actually buy other than what we've got. I might act. You know what? Let me go back outside. I'm gonna get enough for two. One for the actual health, and the other one so I can get the infinite magic. Take these, and now we are good to go. Funny thing is, is the guy that stole the, that money from a crow is the same guy during the evening, if you go inside a shop, is the one who is selling you stuff, so it's a bit amusing in that regard. Ma, mother, mother, I'm busy. Alright, he does that. Wow. How rude. You pushed me out of the way. Welcome, do you have some business? Yeah. I'm of the Guardian Troop. I have an appointment to meet with the madam today. Oh, really? That should be fine if you just go in. Well, remember this conversation? Huh? 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 The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you say? Yes, yes, everyone. We're all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor! Oh. This will do. Whether you're stubborn and you will stay and guard your family, or if you would prefer to run away and seek shelter. That is for the people to decide on their own. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to that pointless bickering. Well, all that pointless bickering. Adults are all so stubborn. It is shameful. Here's a token of my gratitude. We collected a piece of heart. Well, I'm maybe an unreliable heir, but at least my family can depend on me. I want, to I want to protect my wife. You saved the mayor from a tedious meeting. This was added to your notebook. Captain Vison. The mayor's orders are absolute. So, the gate guards are still standing by. Standing by? Christ! So, I may enter, miss? Uh, I think so. <laughs> My directions. Do you want to hear them again? So... The room on your left is the mayor's office. The room on your right is the drawing room, and also it's Madame Aroma's office. Uh, I thought she was going to say something. Oh, it sounds like the bickering finally stopped. Oh, hello there, sir. Now, we have one more before the final area to grab. And that is with Grandma. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping your father? Let Mother read your story. The Four Giants. The Four Giants, is it? 
It's quite a long story, but a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Ahem! This tale is from long ago when people weren't separated into the four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people who lived together in the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the four giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred steps north, one hundred steps south, one hundred steps east, one hundred steps west. If you need, if you have a need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as, The mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. <laughs> We're back to this. It, it would normally show the actual giants. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why must... Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the four giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a war roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people great pain. O oh, imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friend. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Good job. Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people call... What did the people do to call the giants? Well, they didn't sing a song. I don't know. Oh, really? But you listen hard, so Mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. You assembled a new heart container. Your maximum life energy has increased. You were praised by the old woman. This was added to your notebook. Yeah, if you tell her what it was, then she will actually be, Oh, that was so good, you listened. And then it ends. So, we are actually in the second day now. Um, but other than... As you can see, we have gotten everything from everybody. And... We have four heart containers left... Oh, heart pieces to get. We've gotten all the upgrades. We've gotten all the this mask, but we'll get that in a minute. And we've gotten all of the items. We have each of the maps. So we're actually pretty good. Um, I'll show you what it's like on the four giants. Good job. Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people call? Sing a song. That's right, but you couldn't just sing that song anywhere. And the hundred steps parted right... The spot of which those giants parted ways right now is in the middle of this very town. Tiny, give you a little bit of context to that. Now... I'm sorry, but we're going to be taking refuge in the evening like the others. You should run too. It seems like it's going to fall tomorrow morning. I don't remember if I showed this, but if you wear a cafe's mask around her... She's pissed. <laughs> don't speak to me wearing such an unpleasant mask! Jeez. How woo! Now, we are also going to be 
speeding up time this way. I don't know why I did the song of repetition backwards, but you know, okay. The night of the final day, 12 hours remain. We need to have our proof of membership. Uh. Don't know why I forgot where that was, but all right. And so we'll just kind of wait here for a couple of minutes, maybe. I don't know if it's a couple of minutes or not, but. Because I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, speak to him. As you can see, all of our customers have taken refuge. It may be my undoing, but I'm the sort of fellow who will stay at his business through thick and thin. I shall continue standing here at the counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. I wasn't wrong. And I wasn't wrong. See? You stopped it. Let's have a drink. What will it be? The Chateau Robotti! Another Chateau Romani! And we'll just get regular milk. That way we have plenty. Oh dear. Are you alright with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for the town, you know. You just saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too. Far away. Um, I wonder what she says about the couple's mask. Oh dear. Oh, okay. We don't have we didn't do Cafe and Andrew's quest this time around, so we don't have the priority mail to give to her. If you wanted to get a free Chateau Romani, you could definitely do that. But, well, that's not what we're doing. And we're gonna wait. Uh, there's nothing for us to do. No reason for us to really do anything else. So we're just gonna wait here. For midnight. Mm. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been fun to play this again. I felt bad that I kept forgetting a whole bunch of random stuff that I did or didn't do. But, I mean, that's what happens when you play the game on two different consoles. But... Well, that's whatever, I guess. Oh, boy. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. We don't really need anything else. I can just look, but I don't think I need anything. How old are you? You're not from around here, are you? Why are you dressed like that? Why? Huh? Why? Do you have any problems? Any? If you do, tell us bombers. Tell us. Psst. You want to know about the bombers? Alright. Let's go in here. Um. Welcome. You mad, bro? I think he's mad that I stole all that. I think he's upset that I took the, that 40 rupees from him. Oh, welcome. There we go. Now I have no money. I feel better. All 
All right. So. Okay, no. It's only during the final hours. There's something special that happens on the final hours in that place, so I'm gonna wait out here for a tad. So, I will see you guys in a minute when we have the fireworks show! Alright! I love that you can see that from here. <laughs> like that. But as you come in here, there's nothing here. I'll be on vacation for a short while. Please don't look for me. But... There's a fault area back here, and guess who is hiding out? Yep. Ooh, I'm scared! I can't take it! I don't want to die! And I, I assume he's doing it in a scared place, but... It's completely understandable that he's like that. I don't know why he doesn't flee, though. But I guess he feels like there's no point to it. I don't know. But, we're going to make our way, well, what do you say? Cowards, all of you! None of you stay! My apprentice will be disgusted with all of you! Huh. You have a fine, I'll have a fine carnival without you. If you're going to fall, then fall already! I know that's not his normal voice, but I don't feel like killing my throat in the process. go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If that's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. And we will play the Oath to Order. And once again, Skull Kid does not know what's coming. But this time, instead of three, we've got all four. As the moon itself comes crashing down, the four, not the three giants, not the two giants, not just one giant, but all four will show up. Last time we only saved three of them. But kind of like I was mentioning earlier, you could play the song if you just beat Woodfall, if you only beat Got as far as being Snowhead. Technically, you could get through the game, at least through the first two dungeons, and only beat Snowhead and not Woodfall, because all you need is arrows to get through to the Snowhead area. 
but you do need to beat Snowhead to get the powder kegs. So you can reach the other two areas. I've used usually when I play games, Zelda games, it, and I've played them so many times, I try to beat them in unconventional ways or try to do things out of order. I've never actually done that with this game. I don't know. I might. Uh, I might do that one day. Don't know if it would ever be a hundred percent. Probably would be though. But, they were able to stop it, somehow. It, it stopped. We did it, it stopped. Yes! Tail. Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the Skull Kid. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad for him hitting you so much? He was lonely, the Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's cause he can't know his own place. Or can't, doesn't know his own place. On top of being a weak, having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly. He had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. He admit your stupidity. Huh? A puppet that can no longer be used as courage. The puppet's role has just ended. Hey, it can't be the, the, that moon. I, I shall consume, consume, consume everything. up there I won't do it you go by yourself I'm staying here with tail I'll go well, what what are you saying tail is there something wrong with you I don't always want to be running away if I had only been stronger the skull kid wouldn't have I understand I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn, just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. <laughs> and amidst all of that, we are put in what I would say the most peaceful place in the game. It's nothing but plains. There's a sun up there. And in the middle, there's a grand tree. Now... What we're going to be doing... As you head up here, you'll notice that there's a kid in the middle, and there's some kids running around the tree. 
what you want to do is you want to talk to one of them that is hanging around the tree. Not the one with Majora's mask, though. Ah. Nice weather, isn't it? Masks. You have a lot. You, too. Will you be a mask salesman? And I'll play with you. So, the masks. Give me some. You can have Don Garo's mask. Thanks. You, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. Alright, I'll hide. Now, you are teleported into a little kind of mini-ish dungeon. This is if you cannot figure it out or for whatever reason you want to leave, you can. Uh, and you can always come back in if you want. The reason why you may not be able to leave is if you don't have any masks left. The way you actually leave is by giving the kid a mask. You have to use one to get in and use one to get out. Dive, please. There we go. Each one of these areas will have a piece of heart. So... You want to get the piece of heart, and you want to leave. So... As you can see, our door is over there, but we can't actually make it without... Uh, doing this. Because distance-wise, we didn't have a really good shot from over there to get here. But you come in, take the mask off and talk to the kid. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. You give him? <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? And you're sent back here. Now, the amount of masks you have to give one of the kids is depending on the number of the uh, temple it is. So since Adoloa was the first one, we only had to give him one mask. One mask. But... He's got goat's mask. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too? Will you be a mask salesman? And I'll play with you. So, the masks, give me some. We give him one. More. Give him another. Thanks. You're, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek, let's play. All right, I'll hide. And I'll go ahead and tell you, I absolutely do not. This is probably the most annoying puzzle you ever have to do as Goron. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is absolutely atrocious. But If you can get it going, you should be fine, but it's highly possible that you won't get it going. And... You could also easily fall off. And it sticks you right here. Unfortunately, you have to line yourself up again and then just try... To make sure you got yourself going. 
if you have that happen, they've got little teleporters that will actually teleport you in a good spot so you don't have to worry about it, which is good. But once you hit spike mode, you can let go of the control stick. You should be fine for the, uh, this part of it. But once you make this jump right here, you want to stop. To get to the end, you want to keep on going. But to get the piece of heart, you want to stop. So once you get that, you come up here. And actually, this is the way to get back to square one. My bad. Uh, I thought you had to stop here. Maybe it's in the 3DS version. <laughs> I think it is in the 3DS version. You have to stop here. Or you can stop here. It makes it easier. One of the two. It doesn't matter. Regardless, all right, we got that. And this is the thing you don't have to keep ro rolling around, you can do it all in one go. I've done it before, but it is salt melts, that's for sure. Oh, if you're going to leave, you have to stop. But if you're getting the piece of heart, you gotta... What? Why did it bounce me back? Okay. If you want to keep... If you want to get the piece of heart, you have to keep going without any questions. Uh... That's a little bit close there. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Well, this will be a thing. Hopefully it won't take too long, but I wouldn't be surprised myself if I am here for quite a while. Thankfully they don't put a time limit on how long you can be in the moon, because good grief, that would add so much of a stressful factor on top of it. Alright, I, I am not rolling in that. So, alright. Let's try this again. Um... I like how they give you the temple music, too, corresponding with the area. Oh no! Gosh! Why was that initial jump so jank? It should not have been that jank. Oh, I... Why did I touch it? Why did I touch the control stick? I was fine, but I tried to correct myself, but no, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just said, you know what? Let it go. Oh gosh. Ugh. Ooh, that was close. I almost missed it. Oh gosh, no no oh I would have fallen off there. Ooh. Alright. I should be good here. Yeah, I'm good. We get ourselves a piece of heart. I'm actually quite curious about this since we're over here in the corner. The mystical stone responds to the mask and speaks to you but its words are heard in secret. It seems the great fairy in town had the great fairy's mask. 
Okay, so th these masks, it, those actually give you the idea if you it, of where masks are. So if you are missing one, you can always go back and try to find out what mask you missed. But that's if you missed one. If you didn't, you don't really have to worry about that. If you've got all of them, then this that whole idea is just kind of not needed. But it's there if you actually do need a mask and you haven't been playing with the guide or anything. Or haven't watched any of this. I, I, I don't know. But if you're missing a mask and you can't remember how to get it or where it is or what have you, you can definitely talk to the the stones here and if you have them only if you have the mask of truth though um and they'll kind of give you an idea of who has what okay i guess i'll talk to it on this side um kamaro has kamaro's mask the skull kita had the captain's hat and some of these are story specific, so you wouldn't be able to get here without them. So it's a bit odd that some of the story specific masks that you get are there. Also, I don't know why I came on this. I need to get on this side of this. Not touch that, but... Let's get rolling. All right, we we got rid of the the first the, well the more annoying now though too. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. All right, you can have the mask of truth, and you can have the stone mask. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um. Can I ask a question? You. What makes you happy? I wonder. What makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? And so we have finished the Gore the most annoying out of all of them, so it, it didn't take too much, thank goodness, but I did <laughs> fail quite quite big on that. Alright, so like the others, we gotta find... Oh, there we go. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too? Will you be? A mask salesman, and I'll play with you. So, masks, give me some. Here's one. More. Here's another. More. Thanks. You're, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. All right, I'll hide. Now, getting the heart piece in this one's a it's not it, you just gotta remember the pattern uh, actually it's, but you may or may not remember it it's all about swimming and you have to make quick decisions on what path you're taking because it may or may not be the one you need to get the heart pace I think I messed that up that's the kid. I am not... Oh, man. Really? That mask, take it off. Alright, fine. You found me. I want more masks. No. No? Oh. Are you going back? Yes. That's how you get here. Did I seriously mess this up? Please don't tell me I messed this up. I think all you have to do is... 
I think he'll let you play anyway. Shall we play again? Yes. Hide and seek. Let's play. Okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> I didn't know if he was going to like, I need more masks. Um. Shoot. Uh, let me look. Because I can't remember what the actual pattern is uh, to get to it. That, that's a little bit on my end. I should have actually looked at that, but I didn't. Uh, Keaton, oh, no, why am I, no, it's heart pieces. Okay. Um, left, left, right, left. Okay. Jump. Left, left, right, and then left. Oh, wait. No, this is to the key. Oh, no. Gosh. And that's another gossip stone if you needed to talk to it to find out where other masks are, but we don't have to. So, now we are back here. Left, right, left, left, I think. Or, okay, I'll go to the right. Oh, this was the right way. Okay, never mind. You found me. Hey, a lot more masks. Here you go. More! More! <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Uh, can I ask a question? The right thing. What is it? I wonder. If you do the right thing, does it really make... Everybody happy? Since I got my own answers to all that, I'll put that probably. I, yeah, I'll put those in the description just because I just don't want to fill the video with it because we would be here a while. Or I might make a. Yeah, I'll just put it in the description. You can answer the questions on your own too. All right, now we gotta talk to this kid. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too? Will you be a mask salesman? And I'll play with you. So, the masks, give me some. You have a Keaton mask. More. You can have the Romani mask. More! You can have Kamara's mask. More! Jeez. What a greedy little kid. You can have Gibda's mask. Thanks. You, you're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. Alright, I'll hide. And this is more of a gauntlet puzzle solving thing. So, thankfully, we don't really have to worry about it. There's a bunch of places where you can... I guess I didn't need to buy the Chateau Romani. But that being said, we got ourselves a Dynafloss. It wasn't the end of the Dynafloss, I can tell you. Take a great for a fairy sword. Oh. All right, same thing with that, and we have ourselves a Garo. Oh. 
Well, that was cheap. And boom. And there is a treasure chest there. Uh, okay. We open it. Comes with a bundle of arrows. As you can see, technically you don't have to worry about it, but, you know, there you go. But we do have ourselves an iron knuckle to worry about. Sword jump attack. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. As you can see, the chest appeared down here this time, and it gave us Bonchu. If you never bought them, this would be the first time you would ever see Bonchu. So, yeah. Okay, I think it's one. Yep. And they gave you the bundle of arrows so you could shoot that specifically. We open it. We get a piece heart. We have now completed all the heart containers! Ooh, that's quite a bit. There we go. We opened that a little bit. Now, if you came in here with the Mask of Truth, it would have told you how to solve these puzzles if you weren't sure what to do. Like, it's like, what? How do I get up? It'll tell you, hey, there's a Bonshu wall you need to hit. So that that's why I didn't worry about it too much because I knew what the thing entailed. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Um, I, I want some more. More. <laughs> Link's progressively getting further away. More. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Um, can I ask a question? Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder. The face under the mask? Is that your true face? And so, we'll roll on up. Just wanted to roll up here. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about magic, because I know I will run out if I don't. There's two ways you can do this fight. I'm going to do it the cheap way. I'm just going to be completely honest. Uh, there is an honest, legit way to do it, and it can be kind of difficult. Um, and in, it's a long boss fight, but you get a very cheap way to do it if you talk to him after you've dealt with all the other kids. Everyone's going away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Sure. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well... Let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. 
he gives you the final mask of the game, which is the Fierce Deities mask. Could this mask start power be as bad as Majora? Try it on, we'll see. Are you ready? You're the bad guy. When you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Now, the Fierce Deities Mask is, can only be used in boss rooms. Now, this and this fight here has three stages. We're about to step in the first one, and then it goes into the second, and then the third. The Fierce Deities Mask makes this fight a joke. We are given a sword of magical capabilities, and, well, I was going to try to show it off before we started the fight, but I'll, we'll, we'll show it off as we fight. Each of the Remain Mask will attest themselves to the wall here, which will awaken Majora's Mask. Remember your battles. When something res when something resistant would deflect your weapons, what was its backside usually like? Tattle will give you different information on how to deal with each of the bosses. It will each of the stages of the fight. As you can see, Fierce Deity shoots sword beams, which is not like it's the others. Now, if you don't want to deal with them, you don't have to deal with the Remain Masks, but they do a heart of damage without the defense, or a half heart with it. Alright, come on. After a few hits, in comes the second stage of Majora's Mask. The weirdest one. Majora's Incarnation. And sub music. When you fought things that ran around, didn't you have a body? Didn't you battle them by using your own body? Yeah, for some reason they make the insinuation you should use Goron? I don't know why, because it's not a good idea. I never- I tried using the Goron to fight it, but it was just- you could never really do anything. But it's the easiest out of all of them. Now, this is Majora's Wrath. Think about battles and weapons. When you had a chance before an enemy was about to attack, didn't you try usually shooting it? And there we go. That is the end of Majora. Um... Yeah... If you 100% it, this boss fight's a joke. This is the final boss of the game, made so ridiculously simple because of a mask you have. Even if you just use the Gilded Sword, it's a much harder fight. Because the Fierce Deity Sword is like the Great Fairy Sword on steroids. It really is. It's an extremely good weapon. That's why it makes the boss fight a joke. It makes... It, and you can use it in any boss room in the game. And... Whether it's useful in that 
room or not is irrelevant, but you can use it in boss rooms only. That being said, we have saved Termina from Majora, and it's the dawn of the new day. Ha! He's awake! There's Skull Kid. You guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend? And the giants head back to their respective domains where they will lie in rest, guarding the areas. Did you? Did you save me? I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. <laughs> friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left this mask. Left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I'm in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Well, whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or for merely a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. How very true of a statement. But my... You sure managed to make quite a pe number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after. So this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know? It was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So, why don't you leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Link! Thank you. And we have the carnival. I have been meaning to come back to this game and actually do a 
recording session of it. As far as like coming back and beating the game 100% again for a long time, I just never found a good time to do it. I'm glad I got to do it. I it for this. It's been quite a while. I think I did this project originally, I think around five or six years ago. And now I finally come back to it. <laughs> it's been a while. So, and I, I think it was, actually I can tell you at least somewhat. Um, yeah, it was six years ago because it was about a year before the 3DS version came out. So that was crazy. But <laughs> it's just like they're headed that way, then they're headed back. But um, it it's a very good Zelda game. I do like this game a lot. The characters in it have so much more life than all the previous Zelda games, honestly. My only complaint is... Well, um... I would say my two complaints. One of them is both the... the Great Bay Temple and the Stone Tower Temple. There's a lot of backtracking in Great Bay. Stone Tower, not so much. They do a good job of, you don't have to flip it all that much. It's not a bad temple at all. Great Bay is kind of the one thing that is just like, really? It's just my personal opinion. I know not everyone's going to agree with it, but I just, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But that is just kind of how I think about that. The previous two dungeons, they're not as bad either. It, they're not bad at all. I will say though, I, while doing this, what doing the live stream of when I went through those two temples, Snowhead, I had a little bit of an issue where I couldn't find a couple of those fairies. So it was a little bit, of, it was a bit crazy. So I, I, I do have a little bit of a problem with that, but I understand that it's a ROM, not the actual game. Uh, the actual game doesn't do that to you. But... This game itself is overall a really good game. If you've never played it, I would highly suggest you do play it. Um, it it's just got so much more character than Ocarina of Time's characters do. And they add some new characters along with it. And I I just I like Majora's Mask. I actually do. This isn't gonna be the last Zelda game I play. I'm gonna play as pretty much as many of them as I can. But it's not gonna be the next thing that comes up. I am gonna be taking care of um, I think while well, this is going up, uh, I'm gonna have started back with Fire Emblem Three Houses. I don't know exactly what all is gonna be entailed on me going about it, but I hope I can take care of that project before the end of the year. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try to push for it. Um. And this part right here, they show the wedding is about to happen, and they never show Cafe's face. They never show him as an adult. It's so... It's such a tease, because they're like, oh my gosh, it's a, a, the wedding, everyone's happy. Apparently the mayor took his chair outside to for this wedding, and no one ever shows Cafe in his adult form. Kind of sad. 
And this is why I think you have the soul of the butler's son. Because the butler at the end of the game, in the credits, is crying in front of that tree. It's an extremely sad thing. And you are back where this adventure started. In the woods, looking for a dear friend that you had lost. And the Skull Kid that talks to you, it, who was the big villain of the game, is actually one from the Lost Woods that you taught Saria's song to. Hey, that's at least my belief on it, because he talks like, Hey, didn't you teach me that song? Because there's only... Or, you played that song for me? Hey, there's only one you really play a song for, specifically. And he gives you a piece of heart in that game. And... And this one, he turns into a villain. And he, he kind of was separate from everyone, so it kind of makes you think, Well, maybe he was the Skull Kid that was banished. Who knows? But this is the end. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, we're going to be playing a lot more of uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I do want to get that game beat uh, completely. Uh, doing all the paths and everything. And also the DLC. Uh, once we finish that... Uh, we'll come back with another project I've been meaning to redo. Uh, it's gonna be a DS game. So, I I may start that along with uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. It just kind of depends on whether or not, uh, like, how much work it actually takes to go through it. Because uh, <laughs> of the editing and everything's gonna be very different, comparatively. So... We'll see. Thank you all for joining me on this adventure. And I'll see you guys in the next project or the next Zelda playthrough. Whichever one you decide to watch. I don't know. Or if you decide to watch any of the older stuff. I don't know. A lot of people <laughs> seem to like some of the older stuff too. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Later. Thank you.